In this tutorial, we're going to create the background for our Pong game. To do that, we need to go down to the Layers option on the menu at the bottom of the screen and make sure you're on Background. Go ahead and click Background. You want to make sure it doesn't have that gray background color behind the word Background. To get started, let's come over here to the bottom left-hand corner, and I'm just going to click on this square, and I'm going to choose Create. So we're going to start making the background for type. Go ahead and type in background, and we're going to click to edit. If I were just to say OK, it would put the exact color sprite in the box on my game area. But I don't want to use this color. I want to create my own. So I'm going to come here and now notice I have the options to clone or edit it. We're going to edit it, so I'm going to click edit. And here's my sprite editor. What I'm going to do is come over here to the left hand side and drag this grid all the way over so that I have larger boxes. Notice if it's small, I can get a lot of finer detail. For example, if you wanted to make something that is more of a circle, you can use the finer detail. For this game, I'm going to make mine square. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here and use the large grid. Next, you can pick colors across the bottom. I'm going to leave mine this blue color, which I really like. I'm going to click in here to fill with the blue color and make sure that I have a solid color sprite. I do want to point out that clearly you can create your own sprites with colors that you have here and the tools over here on the left-hand menu. But you can also click Browse. When you click Browse, you've got My Sprites clearly. This is one we just created, so that's there, but you also have the sprites from the tutorial. You can come in here and you've got sprites you can use. For example, for the ground. There's also some grass and other sprites you can use. You can also click Get More Sprites and you're redirected to the Flow Lab shop where you can purchase additional sprites. We don't really need to do that right now, but I just wanted to point that out. I'm going to go back to see my sprites and choose OK down in the bottom left hand corner. And now the box is blue. Well, instead of doing that for each square, we can click Clone. I can click Clone here, and if you remember, I can come in here and choose Clone from the options. Now all I'm going to do is fill in each of these blocks, which will give me a solid color background for this Pong game. You could do something totally different if you want to, but for right now, all you need to do is go ahead and start creating your background. Again, just make sure you're on the background layer. Also, make sure you have the background like you want prior to us building the game world. Go ahead and please create your background. Okay, when you're done cloning, it's very important, you come down here and click Done Cloning on the menu bar. Otherwise, everywhere you click will still have the same background colored square. So I'm going to click Done Cloning. I just want to point out that I can click on any square on our game playing area and choose edit. Notice its type is background, the same as the first square we started down in the bottom left hand corner, so it cloned the color and also cloned any attributes that go with that square, including the type, which again is background. Make sure you get your background like you want it, and in the next tutorial we're going to build the game paddle for the Pong game. See you in the next video!